Well, a resolution to remove slavery from Utah's Constitution takes a major step forward at the Capitol today, receiving support from a well-known civil rights activist. We broke the story last November that a form of slavery still exists in Utah's Constitution. It's what led to the writing of HJR 8. ABC 4's Brittany Johnson has the latest developments. Another standing ovation for Representative Sandra Hollins as her resolution to remove slavery from Utah's Constitution passes the House unanimously. This is something that we can all agree on and something that brings us together. Civil rights activist Joan Mulholland stood next to Representative Hollins as she presented her resolution. She flew into Utah from Virginia to provide support. But to have someone who has fought um, in the civil rights movement and who has fought for me to be here. It was such an honor to have her sit next to me. Mulholland, known for being held on death row for her involvement in the civil rights movement, a freedom writer, the first white person to integrate Tougaloo College in Jackson, Mississippi, and so much more, called today a historic moment. There are things in our United States history that were wrong and they need to be erased, not forgotten but erased from our current laws and documents and vocabulary. Article 1, Section 21 of Utah's Constitution currently reads, Neither slavery nor involuntary servitude, except as a punishment for crime, shall exist within this state. The exception was used to arrest African Americans and force them into involuntary servitude, known as convict leasing. The end of slavery happened. It really did not happen as a result of black codes. And let's be reminded that out of black codes rolled the Jim Crow laws. Hollins wants to make it clear her resolution wouldn't stop prisoners from working while behind bars. Work should be a part of the rehabilitation system. But it sends a message that prison is not slavery. From the Utah State Capitol, I'm Brittany Johnson reporting. Thank you, Brittany. Well, the resolution will now head to the Senate for consideration.